page, Brother Marcus from the Netherlands to the Kingdom Come. Welcome to a brand new season. The topic for today will be the Gospel of the Kingdom. I have often heard preachers speak about the Gospel. They refer to salvation and eternal life which is given to us through faith in the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Indeed, through faith in Jesus there is salvation and eternal life. But what worries me is that the gospel that Jesus himself often spoke of is not or is hardly heard today. In the gospels Jesus regularly speaks of the gospel of the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven. This is a message that goes far beyond salvation and eternal life through faith. And that, my friends, is something we must not forget. To give you a few examples, in Matthew 9 verse 35, and Jesus went around all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every affliction among the people. Also in Lucas 4, 43. But he said to them, I must preach the gospel of the kingdom of God also to other cities, for to this purpose I am sent. And then again in Lucas 9, verse 1 and 2, He called together his twelve disciples and gave them power and authority over all demons and to heal the sick, and he sent them on their way to preach the kingdom of God and to heal those sick. Then in Matthew 24, verse 14, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a testimony unto all nations, and then the end shall come. Even after his resurrection, he stayed with his disciples for 40 days to talk to them about the kingdom of God. In Acts 1, verse 3, after he had suffered, he showed himself also alive to them with many undeniable proofs for forty days, whereby he was sent, seen by them and spoke of the things concerning the kingdom of God. Apparently Jesus thinks it, think it is important for believers to know what the kingdom of God is and everything will be happened and what will happen with the kingdom of God. Apparently Jesus thinks it is important for believers to know what the kingdom of God is and what will happen with the kingdom of God. So then the question is, if he thinks uh, that it is important, then why is the kingdom of God not preached? Like back like then? Isn't it funny how we all refer to the gospel as the salvation and the the thing the things that Jesus did? is the way to eternal life, but that we forget to uh, reach about the kingdom of God. And I think there is lots of ground to cover, to spread the word about the kingdom of God. It's time to sign out on this beautiful